ไม่สามเจ็ดโลแฟนโลแฟนโอ้ยเจ็ดตัวก่อนเพราะทำไมเอ้าสิบมาดูแบบอะไรเนี่ยก็ได้เช็คโลแฟนเจอแบบโลแฟนครับเฮ้ยแต่เราไม่ได้ติดตั้งกันและในบ้านเรา price is just like that if one is down we need to get together to pack it and help and add that one but in order to do that we need to respect one another we need to love one another we need to pray for one another we need to have compassion for one another because sometimes you get in little moods where yeah I ain't talking to them I ain't talking to them I ain't talking to them well my group is better than that group See, when you say it's your thing, you always set yourself up to be disrespectful. Because if it's your thing, it can't be your thing and Jesus thing at the same time. Either it's Jesus and you working it, or it's yours, and he's not. See, I've asked this church, but I ain't no fool. This ain't my church. This is God's church. That's why, you know, I tell my whole sister, I've never seen a failing church in my life. I've never been a part of a failing church. Why? Because I know it ain't mine. And I know I'm not going to see that church fail. It's not mine. This is God's house. Yeah. You know, we make the devil get in people's eyes. Well, that's the Jesus church. Well, that's the devil coming here. Good and free church. Because free come and go. They come and go. You know, some of these, some of them die, but they come and go. So this is God's house. Because God's the one that's saying, you can't see over 125 years. You can't have one preacher for 125 years. If you have one preacher for 125 years, I'll tell you that's church. <laughs> but many are humble, and many are humble for reasons, and they keep on because it's God. So you know, I look at those, when I look at those bubbles, I think, man, man, it's tricky to get together like that when a little was gone. Because when they had that big bubble, I said, "Bro, I'm gonna do it." I said, "When he get bubble, I said, 'That's what we get.' They didn't do it. Zero, zero, one, four. That's it. They came back. They came back to fight, and they got their baby. But that's what my Christ is all about. When he come back, he will lead people, pray for people, let them know that you know he ain't with you. So. Somebody they disrespect me, they really say that it's about me. Because most people say that they disrespect me. I was disrespected. I was this. Which means more everyone is about you. But if you live with Jesus, whatever they do to you, you know it's not about you, it's always about him. That's how Jesus Christ is. They don't have everything, and we already read everything Jesus went through, right? Everything Jesus went through, we read all that. But he's not Jesus went through all of that. When he got on the cross, that's why he said, Father, forgive them. Because Jesus knew it wasn't about him. Well, they don't have what they do because what is not about me? I have a faith first. I'm going to bow every day and I'm going to come back. It's not about me. It's about God. It's about you getting praise. It's about you, God. That's how Jesus could do that. So if you never ever heard Jesus say, well, they disrespect me, Lord. I know. Father, forgive them. What's about him? So see, it's not about you. So take one Jesus Christ. When you take one Jesus Christ, you will know that it's not about you. Peter Boyd was a physician and asked him, when Peter said in Acts 10, chapter 34 verse, he said, I receive that God is no respect of persons. I respect persons. The only thing I respect is this word. Because in the 35 says, but in every nation that fears him and work of righteousness is accepted with him. So if you've been doing God, God will accept us when we're doing this word. We don't have to worry about our respect or being disrespected because God is no respect of a person anyway. And if God has this respect of a person, how do you say, you've done me, you got this, or you got this respect. I've never heard any word where an apostle, a prophet, or anybody say they got this respect. You never heard the word where it's anybody, prophet, preacher, king, or any, that they know about it, or preachers got disrespected, no, because they knew it was about God. You know, David, Saul was trying to kill him. David never said he disrespected me. All the time, they got thrown in prison. And in prison, they never stood up, they were disrespected me. But they knew it was about God, they prayed and they died. You know, David was putting a lot of things. You never sat down and didn't say, I got disrespected. No, he prayed to God. Man, me and Mike, they were talking about them about building those walls. They can't do it, they can't do it, they ain't no way you can do it. And then Mike never said, they can see better. You know what he said? The people have a lot of work. Oh my goodness. When we go around talking about, I got disrespect. Nobody got disrespect for worse than Jesus. And he forgave. He forgave. So I just wanted to shake somebody and lose and shake them free on the word disrespect. Because they don't over too much to the fact that it's a negative word in our society. I'm not talking about the church, I'm talking about our society. See, it started in the society and then it infiltrated into the church. Because you hear it on records, the rappers, you know, they always talk about something, 